If your vehicle has a power adjustable driver's seat, here's how to operate it. To slide the seat forward or backward, use this switch on the outer edge of the seat. Slide it forward or backward and the seat will move in that direction. To make the seat recline, move this recline switch backward until you achieve the desired position. To bring it back upright, move the switch forward and lean forward. The seat back will return to a more upright position. If so equipped, the switch you use to move the driver's seat forward and back can also be used as a seat lifter, adjusting the angle and height of the seat cushion. Push the front or rear end of the switch up or down to adjust the cushion. Push up or push down on the center of the switch to raise or lower the entire seat. If your vehicle is equipped with manual seat adjustments, reach down and find this lever under the front of the seat. Pull up on it while you slide the seat forward or backward to the desired position. Release the lever to lock the seat in that position. To recline the front seat backs, locate this lever on the outside of the seat base. Pull up and lean back. To bring the seat back upright, pull the lever and lean forward. When returning the seat back to the upright position, always be certain it is completely secured in the latched position. The height of the driver's seat can be adjusted using this lever located on the outside of the seat base. Pull up or push down repeatedly to adjust the height of the seat. Release the lever when a comfortable position is achieved. Folding the rear seats provides increased load capacity, especially important when carrying longer items. Either one or both of the rear seat backs can be folded forward to create this extra storage space when needed. Pull this knob located on the top of the seat back. Once released, pull forward on the seat back to place it in the folded position. Repeat these steps for the second seat. When you return the rear seats to the upright position, be sure to properly reset the seat belts. When returning the seat back to the upright position, always be certain it is completely secured in the latched position. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.